Welcome, folks, to Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. This is uh, I'm going to try to do a small small series on this game. It's one of my uh, I, I love 40k. As you, if you guys are regulars to my channel, you know that I talk about Warhammer 40,000 all the time. Yes. We keep vigil in the darkness. We hunt among the shadows. We pass judgment upon the mutant, the traitor, and the heretic. Oh yeah. We the world of the taint lurking among the stars. We are inquisitors. We shall fear nothing. For we are what you fear. Yeah, you don't mess with Inquisitors. Inquisitors are, uh, <laughs> they're kind of like a horror force in, in Warhammer 40,000. Like, they're, there's no good guys on any side, really. And the Inquisitors are, they're kind of like above reproach. They are insane. Like, they... Do you have Puritical, uh, Puritan and Heretical Inquisitors? And we'll actually we'll get in this. I don't have really have any of the DLCs just yet. Uh, I had actually originally bought this game when it first came out, but it had needed a lot of uh, updates at that time. So I just like went hands off for a couple years and I'm just now coming back into it. So uh, we're going to choose our background. There's as you can see four but this requires a unlock from one of the by prophecy now uh, but here we have the crusader uh, inquisitor he has his big shield and he's primarily a melee we can also go with the tactical crusader he does las pistols and auto guns so like a uh, pistol uh, type going on and then we have the heavy gunner and this is like uh, big heavy weapons, missile launchers, and things like that. We have the assassins. So we have a sniper, the infiltrator. This is our melee spec uh, assassin. The eradicator uh, assassin. This one is good for uh, dodging. Oh, it's a death cult assassin. Our experience in hit and run tactics and exotic weapons in combat that rely on their uh, acrobatic skills and speed, preferring lighter armor and weapons. Then we have the psychers. These are essentially like your your mages. They use uh, warp energy. So this is the Imperianist psyker. We have the Aether Walker psyker. And this this one kind of reminds me of a uh, uh, dead space with the uh, with the armor he's got going on, and this is the scryer. This one uses like a pistol and a force rod. This one uses force sword and force rod, and this is just a force staff. And then we got the tech adept, which I haven't actually tried yet. So we got the the secutor. He's got the axe and the electroid shielding. Vestments, a plasma cavalier, so that's a like a plasma gun, a plasma rifle. And this one has the radium carbine. These are actually pretty cool. It's like you shoot people full of ra uh, radioactive material. I'm going to go with Crusader Assault. I really like the way that this guy looks like a knight and he's got this, you know, the sword and shield. Uh, let's go with our name. I'm going to go with Lord mm. Mm. I'm trying to think of a good name for a 40k inquisitor I'm thinking maybe Lord Brash Okay, so backend transfer complete. We have successfully migrated the game's backend systems to AWS and we're constantly monitoring and improving performance. Thanks for your understanding and patience. The Emperor protects. So we have different seasons, much like uh, Diablo series. 
Uh, we have Weekend Redemption. So we get double XP rewards and greatly increased loot and influence gained. I think this is for the online. We got Vendors. DLC. And Expansion. So we got the Inquisitor Prophecy. I'll have to look into that one later. Alright. Let's start. It is the 41st of millennium, and there is no peace amongst the stars. The Imperium of Man is besieged from all sides by the Xeno races and is slowly rotting away from the inside, tainted by the Chaos Gods. Inquisitors are autonomous, powerful agents who wage a great secret war for mankind. They fight from the shadows, and nothing is beyond their reach. They are the judges and the executioners, much like Judge Dredd. That is a Vendetta gunship. Inquisitor, this is your captain speaking. I'm still trying to hail the monastery, but I get no response. The hull looks intact, though. I think it was simply abandoned a very long time ago. Then what do you expect to find over there? Something that once belonged to the Inquisition. And lots of empty holes. Sounds exciting. I've instructed your pilots to land on the hangar deck. Stand by and wait for my signal. Can you imagine a ship like that? The architecture and how much resources one go into making that? Inquisitor, the automatic defense system has been activated. The turrets are attacking you. Do you... That's not good. By all rights, those plasma cannons should have just evaporated us. Captain, do you copy? Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Strange. Vox communication is jammed and I can't use my teleporter device. Something must be disturbing my signal. I will record everything in my audio log in case I don't return. First of all, I'm just going to turn up the volume. Say like 80% should be good. I'm not sure if you guys are able to hear it on your end uh, just yet, but from now, it should be good. Okay. Inquisitorial log, new entry. While attempting to darken the hangar of an unknown fortress monastery, my transport took heavy fire. I suspect that the automatic weapon systems were activated, but I don't yet know why. The transport has been destroyed, along with my equipment. My Interesting. Mindless servitors were created for menial tasks, but having a flesh drone just for operating the door seems excessive. Open the door! Alright. So we have no weapons currently. Hold on, so let me, uh... So we can actually kind of take a look at our look at our character. Let's get a little flashlight on him. 
So this is definitely mm. one of those A R Ancient PGs. Cogitator. Let's see if the tech prayers still hold. It might have information about this place. Just as I suspected, it's a pile of rust. At least I found some interesting diagnostics. I should check all the cogitators on the ship for other details. Got another tutorial? Okay, so this is just talking about our uh, our journal that we have. Right. New log entry. I found some human remains. The time of death seems recent. I don't like the look of the marks on the bodies. Something killed. Oh yes, the perfect weapon to deliver the emperor's justice. So that's our shield. It's a demon Creature of Nurgle. Of chaos. Can you withstand my faith? Ancient Imperial <laughs> ship infested by chaos. So be it. Let's cleanse the taint then. So we have two weapons. So we have our sword and shield. And we have our great sword, which is a giant two-handed sword as well, power sword. I'm gonna stick with this one. New log entry. I have found a room tainted by the filth of chaos. There is also a tech priest maintenance shrine with a functioning cogitator. It could contain information on how I could turn off the Vox Jammer. If you want to go ahead and read this, go ahead and pause. I found new information. There is an emergency cogitator nearby where I could turn off the jamming signals. All right, so we got to go find. Open the door. It is in the walls now, everywhere. Taint in the machines. By the Emperor, what foul abomination is this? Talking servitor. It might be mind locked, but this is still unusual. That's my shield. Looks like we got some heretics. Well met, heretics. It is time for you to die. Give me pain. <laughs> yep, we rip and tore, rip and tear right through them. over here I found a wreck in the hangar it is a vessel used by the space marines what are they doing here it's like a Thunderhawk the Adeptus Asartes finally that's the cogitator that will disable the jammer I couldn't turn off the teleportation jammer, but the Vox should be fine now. Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Inquisitor, finally! I thought we'd lost you. It would have been quite convenient for you, I suppose. Trust me, I'm on your side. I'm not saying I don't want my ship back, but who would clear my name if you died in battle? Your loyalty is quite admirable, Captain. Yeah, we gotta level up. Inquisitor, Lord Brash, new level reached, level two. We get 
We unlock an item type, a chain sword that we can now use. We got one passive skill. So because we're, we're working through this uh, huge ship, we're going to be continuing to stay in here. Uh, our character, we can actually go in here and we can go through each of these different types of areas. Uh, so if we go into support, it changes exactly all the different things that we can do. We got defense, health, melee. I'm going to do this one right here. We also got our inventory, our character. Passives are heroic deeds. So this is how we can unlock certain rewards. Alrighty. Our journal. Talk about the story that we've done. These are all the different things that we've uh, already picked up. So if you ever want to just go through and read them later on, you can do that too. Alright, making contact. Mission 2. Argos have picked up a Vox signal not far from your location. It is transmitting on an Imperial channel. It could be important. I'm on my way there. What's this? Map overlay and minimap. Okay. Interesting. So that must be what this is. Yep. Alright, let's go uh, slay some, oh, we have focus to activate our armor skills. They regain focus automatically over time. Alright. Alright, we got, so if we're looking at our, we got heretics up here, and I believe... tore right through them. By the Emperor. What have you found down there, Inquisitor? Some unlucky members of an Imperial retinue. This is a shrine dedicated to the ruinous powers. Somebody really wants his dark wishes to be fulfilled. In other words, there's something on that ship that requires human sacrifice. Wonderful. And we're going to purge them all. Oh, so if you press space when you're coming up, you actually will go into cover like this. You can hide behind things and stuff like that. So the machine spirit is slowly becoming in insane. That's not a good thing. 
Ooh, frag grenade. Yes, a grenade. Enemies of the Emperor, I'll blast you to smithereens. A proper welcome committee at last. That grenade could be useful now. Yep, that heavy weapon emplacement. So we can actually come up to this and we can interact with this gun. And we can actually use it, which is pretty cool. That's pretty neat. We got going on here. Maintenance log. All right. Okay, we got more incoming. I have found a corpse of an Imperial soldier. I'll take his data slate. It could contain a recording that could shed some light on what happened here. That is a hell brute. Dang. Okay, so that's probably going to lead to some... a big fight coming in. <laughs> I found the body of a fallen Adeptus Astartus. It's like an ultramarine. What? Did you just say that there was a dead space marine down there? He must have been a member of that unlucky Imperial Reconnaissance team I found. Allow me to clarify that. You only found pieces of them. So it'll be just you against something that tore apart one of the mightiest champions of the Imperium. Don't jump to conclusions just yet, Captain. It could easily be more than one creature. This is true. So yeah, uh, using our uh, number four is the uh, jump pack. And uh, our power sword just wrecks havoc on like anything, man. Like it's really, really powerful. And, like it just goes right through people or demons, I should say. Come at me, creatures! Come at me! Come at me, bro. Uh oh. Damn nurglings. So that's what they're called. These little guys, they're called nurglings. They're kind of weak uh, individually, but in mass, they can prove some trouble. Team Sigma, this is KS Thorn speaking. Team Sigma, come in. I'm afraid Team Sigma won't be responding anytime soon. What? Who are you, and what are you doing there? Taking a stroll on the decks? By the Emperor! Mind your manners. I am an Inquisitor, and I don't tolerate... An Inquisitor? About bloody time. I thought your lot had followed Lord Klosterheim into the Dark Zone. Listen. We're under heavy attack in the control room, so I'd appreciate it if you could join us while we deliver the Emperor's will until our most triumphant death, thorn out. By the Emperor. New log entry. I established connection with someone from an Imperial expedition on the ship. 
but he is clearly confusing me with someone else. You know what, before we go to the exit, which I think that's the exit over there, I'm going to go check out what's over here. Because there might be some secrets, or there might be more enemies. Yeah, see? I knew there was something over here. We got a chest. Cool. We'll check that all out once we finish the mission. Because I have auto loot turned on, so I don't have to worry about it. It just automatically picks up everything. I'm just curious. What is this? Oh, it's uh, double XP. Level up. Here we go. Alright, see what we got. We reached level three and we picked up a personal void shield, a unlocked weapon type of a plasma pistol. We got one more passive skill point. Character, let's go into defense. Uh, let's go to physical resistance. Inventory. Ooh, we got some we got some new stuff going on here. So this is our assault armor. We have 25 right here. Let me see. We have 28. Okay. 26 and 25. So purple is obviously the better way to go. We'll go with that. And it changes actually changes our armor too, which is really cool looking. So like if we went with the demolition armor. That's how we look. That's pretty neat looking. And what about the assault armor? That's pretty dope too. All right, but I like that. It's very much like a juggernaut looking type thing going on. All right, uh, itemization. Oop. Go to our journal. So we had a lot more audio logs. So all of the all of the stuff in the chapter is listing out for us. We have events, tutorials, so you can go back through and actually read like the crafting mechanism so we can make stuff, perks and all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, no glory, social, the cabal, our journal. Uh, yeah, okay. Not sure why that's still popping up there like that. Okay, that's fine. Back to Athogen Station, Sector View, Command Bridge. All right, so we're still going like going through, so we can't really do a whole lot uh, on that aspect. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. We'll do one more. me in a glorious carnage. I want your help as soon as possible. Careful, Thor. That was dangerously close to insolence. You are definitely confusing me with someone else. You are an inquisitor, which is enough for me right now. The whole deck is swarming with the local mongrel tribes, and they've sent their champions to rally the troops. I need... So you're heading to the control room to disable the jammer? That's the plan, yes. And who is this Caius Thorn exactly? Quite a character. Otherwise, I have no idea. He seems to think that I am a member of his mysterious expedition. If there is an expedition, they might be trapped in that monastery just like you. Why do you think so? I made a scan. That giant wreckage looks completely dead from here. No sign of any other Voidcraft in the vicinity. We'll do some uh, we'll do some wreckage with the uh, with the great sword. Nice. Yeah, he looks pretty uh, pretty beefy. Wanna see about that? 
tribal champion. I wonder if these mongrel tribes are the descendants of the original inhabitants. I guess I'll come to soon. Feel free to pause. Oh, okay. So this is our, this is the mini-map. So let's look at shield bash attack that he has there. Uh, I think that's that's number two is the shield bash. Oh, it's a plague over it. Alright. Sonia, how are you faring, Inquisitor? Considering that I'm alone, I'd say that I'm making adequate progress. Alone? Where's the rest of your detachment? Under some smoldering wreckage. Well, that's unlucky. But <laughs> that's all the more demons for us to kill. Let us rejoice in the furious challenge. Thorn out. Get up. up a supply one charge purity seal gotta have purity seals a signum what's this frag grenade newer implant switch out our eyeball for a good one I guess right oh we got a main implant right here all right. I'm not sure what this supply charge is, though, for. Okay. Yeah, let's go get some. Retreated from my door. Regrouping, I'd say. I take it you killed the tribal champions. Yes, I purged the place. How ambitious! I like that. But well, believe me, someone? there is still much work to be done. You'll find a desecrated shrine next door that leads to the control room. Go there. Now we're getting there. Now I'm wondering, what is what exactly does this thing Ooh, we got an auto pistol? Okay, what does our armor do here? Okay, so we get armor, movement speed when no enemies are present, reflect chance, experience gained, okay. Uh, is it something to do with our shield drain? Okay, I'm just wondering because I have this like field around me and I'm not really quite sure. This might be the, like our range or something, or the tactical view. Something's coming at us. Thorn, I've reached the end of this subdeck. Good. There is the exit. Some of my men will meet you on the other side, but plenty of them have been captured. I'll need your help to set them free. Ooh, we got another level? Nice.
I think we're at level five, shouldn't we? I think because we got a level and then we got another level. Great axe, toughness point, continue. Yep, okay. Nice, so we can now use a plasma gun. We got a perk, built abilities, gain plus two charges, supply crates give you plus one charge, plus 100% damage bonus for grenades and mines. Ooh, Grenader, kill 100 enemies with grenades. Grinder, perk unlocked. Plus 66% damage boost, no critical hits. All right, so let's go ahead and spend some points. Uh, damage reduction when standing still. Mm, health, let's get ourselves some extra health going. And, uh, support. We got focus, cooldown, and melee. We'll get more damage. Okay, uh, journal. Nothing seems to change there. But yeah. Alright guys. So I'm going to call it here. Uh, this has been Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. Uh, if you like this, let me know. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and give me a comment and uh, what we should do. Alright guys. Check you later and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.